Hi, in this video I will show you how to turn your Linux Mint Cinnamon desktop into a macOS themed desktop. Let us start. At first I open up my web browser and I paste you two links into the video description. Please open them and download them. For OS Catalina I'm choosing download and select here the only entry and click on download. On White Sur DTK theme I click on download and select White Sur Light Tar.xz. I click on that and click on download again. Perfect. Now we can close our web browser. I open up our file manager, maximize it and activate the to list mode which I can do by F3. In the downloads folder I'm selecting the two archives, select right click and select extract here. After that I select Ctrl H on the right side to show my hidden files. Otherwise you can do this by right clicking and selecting this one and create a new folder which is called dot icons. Here it is. I select this folder and I'm going into the folder OS Catalina icons on the left side and drag and drop these both files into the right side so that the folders are in dot icons. Perfect. I go back to my personal folder and select the themes folder. If the themes folder doesn't exist, just create one. I select dot themes, select my downloads folder here on the left side, select the right sir light theme and here we have the index dot theme. Perfect. So I head back to my downloads folder and move this whole folder into the right side into our themes folder. Perfect. I can close now my file manager. Let us activate these themes. I select menu and select themes. Under themes I personally keep this mouse pointer. If you want to change it you may want to change it into Advaita or DMZ Black. I select applications here and select white sir light. Under icons I select Catalina icons and under desktop I also select white sir light. Perfect. Now I close the themes settings and right click our panel, select move and click on the upper red rag here. Now I right click the panel again, head over to the panel settings and change the panel height to 25. The symbolic icon size I change to 16 pixel. Now I can close the panel settings. Let us finish our panel here. I right click my icons on the upper left, select applet preferences and remove the grouped window list and I confirm that one. Now I right click on the panel again and select applet. Under applet I choose recent documents and select plus. Also I head over to downloads and search for places. Here we have our places center. I select download here, head over to manage, search here for places again and add the places center also. After that I close our applet settings, right click our panel and activate the panel edit mode. Now I can drag and drop the places icon into the left side here, also the recent documents and I also drag and drop the favorites on the left side. Now I can right click our panel again and deactivate our panel edit mode. If the icon here is too big for us, let us head over to the panel settings. Sometimes this one changes. We want on the left zone a symbolic icon size of 16 again. I type it in, press enter or change this one by plus and minus. Then our icon is small again. I close our panel. In the end let us install Plank for our panel at the bottom. I open up a terminal and type in the command sudo apt install plank. I select enter, type in my password and select enter again. After that I'm calling the command plank white space dash dash preferences. I select enter and here we have now our preferences window. I activate the icon zoom 
change the theme to GTK plus and head over to Docklets and add the trash by double clicking it. That is okay for me. If you want, you can customize your panel to your needs. I close the panel preferences window here and press Ctrl C to close plank. Otherwise, just close the terminal. Let us head over to our startup applications here, select plus down here, select choose application and we search here for plank, just type it in and we select plank add application. Perfect. We can run the startup command by selecting plank here and click on run now down here. Perfect. Our plank is now back again and will start automatically at boot of your computer. So in the end, I'm changing my background. If you want, you can download a official background image from macOS, but I'm not a big fan of these at the moment. So I click change desktop background. In my case, I'm selecting a background image which comes with Linux Mint and I like Germany very much for this theme. Yeah, you can also choose psychedelic, but yeah, I'm heading with Germany here. Perfect. This looks now very nice. Welcome to your new Linux Mint themed like a macOS desktop. In the end, you can remove one celluloid entry here by right clicking a entry and select keep in dock. Perfect. Now this one is gone and we have a beautiful macOS themed desktop. If you like this theme and I could help you with this video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. I would be very happy about it. See you in the next video. Bye.